welcome, welcome, welcome. Just made a character. Let's see if they get it to capture this at right screen. Hippity hop fail. That's three. What? Oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead That's if not the voice I chose. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Uh, uh, it's getting worse. Listen, she covered him it up more. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. Calm down versus spreading. I mean, there's two different terms there. Okay. You ever hear about the North Pole? That old fairy tale? Yeah. Like this war. Oh. Old white pew, pew. guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> um. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. Probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> Now I can run. My foot just got better. Magically better foot. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's got to be another way through. She couldn't just follow me. It's about time. What took you? Your slow self. That's what took me. Hey, look 
at this. What happened to these poor bastards? Uh, they were looking for a blood root, and I found it. Finders keepers. Miss Flavart girl. Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us. Um. Uh. Over here. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Something my ma used to say. <sighs> Deadwood! Shoot the damn thing! Nice shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Well, that's not ominous at all. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> She's not sounding very good at health or healthy at all. Probably gonna have to put a cap in her. Foreshadowing. As soon as she hits the ground, I bet you the people are gonna come out. Deadwood and all gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Punch him. Oh. oh. No. Just happened there. Oh. Cutscenes don't like. I don't. Don't like them. Not today, assholes. Hey, this is 
three, by the way. You know, right here makes for three. Oh, shit! Take my gun. Hey, listen. For what it's worth, it's Mr. Poppins, y'all. You were a good friend. The force is with you. It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. I can't hold this forever, Bo. I mean, let me know, PD, if you want to play Celastis or or Tails. I know I just started, but Thanks. I'm good. Who who are you? Questions later. Oh snap. Gabriel Glacius Fluffy. Are you gonna bring him a cake, Petey? I was very loud, but that's but. all I got. You're on your own now. Hey, we still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Come with me if you want to live. I was about to say, and then they immediately separate. <laughs> Rude or thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait. <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit. <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah. It's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. Santa! I know him. I know him. Yeah, I'll go. Shoot.
Peekaboo. Tree monster. I just wash it. Objective complete. Shooting traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. It's not the voice I chose. Words is so man. Any. Safer. So it's really real. Food and water and folks living with some old white guy. <sighs> More or less. I mean, not for you. Whoa, whoa! Let me get you some water. Ooh, that looks like root rot. But I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to the ward, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, or we lose the light. Piggyback. Junk Town. Megaton. Oh dear. This is Wriggler. Tony Riggs. I got you, darling. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Hey, like Welcome she's not even awake. To War 13. Hey, don't worry. Briggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. 
Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. Oh, he loves you. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? We were looking for you. For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... You know, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. What you want? What you looking at me for? Oh, traveler, how's everything? Her powers oh, incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it. Not not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's it's electric, like like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. <laughs> Is it Between me and... Oh, I, I, I don't... Um, <laughs> uh, you well, like no, her. No, it's not. I don't. I mean, I, I do, but it's, it's not like that. I... Uh, have, uh, have you ever met anyone like her, Traveler? Because I haven't. Like, I, I haven't always been the bravest guy around, you know, but the way she fights uh, no, for folks, you don't say. no matter what it takes out of her, it, it makes me want to do better. I mean, you're I, the mayor. I kind of want to make her proud, you know? I, I guess you could say she's my my inspiration, maybe? Oh, but don't... You're my don't inspiration. Tell her I said that, don't. You bring me into my life. Yeah, my. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Home, you, you're you're, you're too mushy. You're so mushy. That Donald, always talking about getting out of here, sailing the sea. Hey, are you? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Like Brad sometimes. Oh, uh. <sighs> Brad, probably someone. That... M. Wallace. There's Ford. Taking us right there. Up for discussion, Clementine. Oh. You're staying. I'm not fine. I don't remember oh. asking for your permission. What you told, young lady? Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have authority over me. On this, I do. This town needs you. You can't go wandering off after something that... that might not even exist. <laughs> Oh, that's rich. What have you been doing the last hundred years then, huh? What the hell are you doing right now? Well, that's different. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying to fix things. Things that you broke when you tried to play God. That was hard, God. I was just following orders. I didn't... Oh, and that makes it okay? You know how many people died <laughs> because you just followed orders? Of course I know. <clears throat> you don't remember that every goddamn day. No, you don't. Trying to make things right here. So am I. You're such a 
You damned hypocrite, Ford. If I leave, it's my fault. But you? You didn't break the world. You didn't run after a pipe dream. You didn't abandon your <coughs> family a dozen times over. Look, I've made a lot of mistakes. I admit that. But it's because of those mistakes that I'm telling you not to do the same thing. Well, forgive me if I don't want to take advice from the men who fucked up the world in the first place. I'm not your dreamer in this. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this nope. later. Must Out have, of my way. Must have heard me. Oh, oh, uh, uh, hello, hi. Uh, it, um, uh. Uh, uh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Boofus. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance in the flesh founder Ford give me a give me Mustang huh uh, give me Mustang boy I, I need uh, I want a Mustang I'm sure you've got a lot of questions and I've got a favor to ask so let's get to it you first you're cheating. I can know. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Uh, how? Our young Wallace told me. How would Wallace? Wallace? Know? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. Uh, if that's you a little cryptic. someone who can explain it better, bring him in. A uh, psychic? A fortune teller? Or something like that? I don't want to say fortune teller. I mean, that's... Mm. Anyone in particular? Uh... Yeah, Bo seems a little young to be mayor. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. I mean, I met him for one second. Is he nice as he seems? I don't know about that one. Why are you Clementine? Arguing's fighting? not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Do they North hurt? Bleeds, headaches. And I worry about worse. Things we can't see so easy. <sighs> it's not like there's a manual. I know Emmanuel. I could call him up for a quick manual. Oh, manual. I have some other questions. I'm sure I can get you up to speed. Okay. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. I mean, you could tell me now, right here. Where's Frida? Freedom! Now I can talk to you. Oh, friend! <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. 
What can I do for you? Riggs, Thanks, and no sir. worries. There was a time when helping each other survive was all we had left. Around here, we don't forget those days if we can help it. Your friend's gonna be all right, by the way. I've seen Weaker pull out of worse. What were you doing out there? Uh, Looking for the no one asking. We heard stories. Really? <laughs> What'd you hear exactly? Uh, stories of a community place to start over. Well, you found it. That's what these folks were for me, anyway. A couple of times over. They'll do for you too if you've got the hands and heart to join them. Given how you've been watching over the little scuffler in the med bay there, I'd say you'll feel right at home. I'll talk so to long. you later. Oh, wait, oh. why is everyone just standing there behind me menacing? I don't know who you are. Am you Wallace? Wally! Oh. Um. What's his name? Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas! Where's. Where's. Uh. uh the, where's Aslan? Greetings. Forgive me. I, I know who and what he is. Faces. Uh. Do we know each other? It is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Pax to take apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxultic name is Thwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxultic faster, stronger, more powerful. Let's see what you can make. He it cannot find elsewhere. Not even on Yesha. Uh, NPCs throughout the world. And where 13 can be used to craft stuff. Okay. We can't do anything. Until we meet once more. Yep. Because I can't do anything with you yet. Wally! I hope I can be as strong as she is someday. Oh yeah, me too. I mean, these little pieces of wood are apparently too much for me. Wally, why are you up on this tower? This is... I mean, you're at least you're on iframes, but didn't look that sound for a second. Oh, I didn't say stand up. I see you, You're traveler. Good. Uh, I see you too, buddy. You're the one Ford's been waiting for, though he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. Are you talking about my friend Cass? You know, and you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. 
the site, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. No, you haven't. You're, you're, mm, I'm not sure what's going on you here. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. What? Medic. Hunter. Challenger. Handler. I mean, he has a freaking man, so. I like his mask. And this is straight up fallout right here. I mean, the blue and the brown, like that's fallout right there. Huh, PD? Which one is it? Fallout oh, that you get the dog. Which one? is it? Four? I never played much four. I I got like to the. I got out of the vault. Walk walk to uh, what is it? Megaton, and then went to one supermarket and spent like two days in the supermarket just trying to loot it, and then never progressed farther than that. This seems like it'd be really good, but I kind of like this healer. It looks really cool. Which one should I pick? I don't know. This reminds me of a uh, the arm the mech, mech not the mech suit, but I think there's an armor suit in one of them. I mean the helmet. Oh, the helmet screams freaking uh, orc from Lord of the Rings. There's one of the orcs I swear has this helmet. The Zerker class, who had like that huge one-handed. All right, Petey, have a good one. Have fun. Uh, I like the medic. I think I'm going to play the medic. But I don't know. Yeah, see, this one I'm not so sure I would even have fun playing. This guy seems cool. or not. I think I want to do this guy. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. Seems like this is the right path. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Brabus? Hi, traveler. 
Barabbas. It is Barabbas. It's Barabbas. I wonder what Miss Clementine would do. Blow everybody up. I like how a tire <laughs> for part of fight. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Yeah, I do. Wallace told me to see you. He said you were the next step in my journey. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, he's <coughs> crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I have to yeah. over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Sweet. Look at the sword! Look at the sword! That is freaking awesome! Can I? No, I can't zoom out. I don't know how to pull out the sword, but that is cool. No worries, Tina. Everybody streams now, and the, eventually I'll uh, catch up to everybody. What's up, Riggs? Brockers told me to see you. He was next to my journey. I suppose he was more particular about why. Uh, he said you were going to talk his ear off. It. He didn't. He just said to come and see him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Brockers. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Upgrading. Some characters can upgrade. Uh. Okay. Uh, upgrade my bulldog. Yeah. Take care, my friend. I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? That was a mistake. Go. I'm a cabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Capiche? <laughs> well, thank you, Tina. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right. So, what the hell? I don't I swear, actually know. If that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words, percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. Uh, a healing shot on the pillars. Do, 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 scrap. A hot shot. Oh, kind of like this healing shot because I don't have a heal right now so I'm going to make a, a healing shot I can buy some stuff sell some stuff yeah. that ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell Wally to be more specific next time yeah 
So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Go All right, ahead. any more questions? <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't mean. like being distracted. <laughs> I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons. Okay? Thanks, McCain. Oh, if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, okay. So nice. Okay, so I've talked to those people. Of whispers. Uh, I'd like to see your wares, even though I don't need to, I guess, because I just got new ones. Yep. Thank you, scrolls. You know, you're reminding me so much of him. You mean Brad? My brother, actually. Though now that you mention it. You remind me of Brad, too. Yeah, you guys are depressing. One trait available. Traits, strong back, health, stamina, uh, increased mod power generation. Which is a skill cooldown. Yeah. Yes, commit. You look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Uh, yeah, let's go. Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. I was about to say, I need Just a light. Just the handle to make it work. Read my mind, man. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before, nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds, even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door. And walk through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, huh. We all know what happened after that. 
I know the door. Lock, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here. Come on, Ellie. Where'd you hide it? That red thing. We Not call sure. it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. it sounds like I might. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm waddling myself around. There you are. Hurry up. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand Shishing. it. Shishing. Oh, is that the. The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. <laughs> of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what? Exactly. to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Surely we'll get up. Clementine! Hey! Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's pretty, pretty silly. It's now joinable. Only had friends. Pretty. Clementine? Ford? Oh, shit. Where are you guys? This is all insane. Both the crystal and Ford. Oh, God, I better get moving if I'm going to find Clementine. Lock to the door on the outside. things you have found us you were looking for me sought but did not see or perhaps i refuse to see years of reflection have laid bare miracles in my mind that i never dreamed possible yet some things remain out of reach tell me my world Precious Nerud, what has become of it? And yet sure. you commune with me now through the speaker's pulpit. Pray tell me, how did you come by this world? No, 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 do not answer. I see it now, at the edge of my mind. But I dare not know it. You and I share this much in common, then. We are cut off from our people, and we share a similar end. Mine lies in Alepsis Torah, while yours... <laughs> no. To speak it is to change it. Already it shifts. Rest assured, our fates bind us together. So I ask a favor. 
and will offer one in return. On the surface of this world lie several chambers that were shielded, as I was, from the cruelty of Alepsis Torah. These chambers bear the soul sparks of the Drazir, our last remaining legacy. Find them and bring them to me, but not here, not to this contemptible chamber in which you now reside. You must find me in the flesh. My temple can be found within the wastes above. Look for the all-seeing eye of the astral paths. Bring me the soul sparks, and we will speak further. <sighs> Ask them. <laughs> Looking for a friend, have you seen it? You have seen what remains of my world. Nothing lives save you and I. You will not find what you seek here. What are those? I promise. We created the soul sparks to seed a hundred worlds. A hundred hundred. If the universe was lifeless, then we would grant it life. But our future now is clear, even without sight. Our universe will cease, and my people along with it. I must <coughs> preserve the soul sparks to survive this cessation. I don't Bring have any more questions. The soul sparks at once. Your reward awaits. Mm. <laughs> Suppose. Yes, I meant to do that. Bandages. Interesting. Um. Okay, so uh, this is almost exactly like Dark Souls. No player rest now, spawns allies. Yep. I think I'm supposed to be up here yet. Oh, phone call. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> 